I'm Sajal Lanneman from URI Extension, and for today's topic, we're going to learn about winter moth. So here to give us that information is head of the URI Plant Protection Clinic, Heather Fober. Hi, Heather. Hey, Sajal. All right, well, thank you so much for coming today. I thought that we could just sort of jump right in and you can tell us why are winter moths a problem in this area? So winter moths aren't normally from this area. They originally came from Europe. Anytime that you get an insect or a plant that comes to an area where they don't have the natural predators that usually attack that, the insect or the plant can build up into huge, huge numbers. And that's what's happened with winter moth. Yeah, definitely. That's no surprise because they are in high numbers uh, this past year. You know, so what kind of plants are they devastating? A lot of us are used to, you know, the trees that we have at home, but what about other people out, out there, like farmers and people that are growing food? Is that an issue? Certainly, certainly. So yeah, for apple growers and blueberry growers, they're really a big problem because the, the caterpillars that come from the moths get into the flower buds and will destroy blueberry and apple and, and pear flower buds. Mm. And if the flower buds get destroyed, then there's no crop at all. I have to ask, is it the moths that are a problem then? It sounds like it's the caterpillars. It's really the caterpillars. So November and December we see the moths flying around, but the female moths are the ones that lay the eggs and then those will hatch to be the caterpillars. Okay. Can defo so we're seeing the, the males trees. when we come home around supper time and That's they're flying right. the all around. The males are flying all around. The females don't have any wings and so the females aren't flying at all. Is there anything that we can do to help this problem, especially if we do have that one precious tree in our, on our Property. In the in this time of year, in the fall, to tr we can try and trap the females as they're walking up the trees to lay their eggs. We don't know if it really works all that well, but, but we can try. You can try putting up tree bands or tree wraps. I think some of us will try anything. Yeah. So I'm hoping that maybe you can give us a step-by-step. -step. We can head outside and you can sort of show us how to put one of these on our tree. Yeah, let's go outside. All right, great. The batting, if you buy this bug barrier it comes pre-cut like this easy and you can just wrap it around the tree okay. and actually they recommend wrapping it around twice because it's not very thick okay. so you go twice around the tree and then you'd want to cut the plastic sticky part to the right diameter around the tree or the right okay, length so sort of the tree. put it around the tree get it in place and then cut it before you take the tape off right yep so make sure you've got it the right side and then just peel off the paper backing. And then here. sort of gently wrap that around. Right, and what I do is I just will kind of place it right onto the batting and I can peel the paper off as I walk it around Yep, the tree. that makes sense, that makes sense. And then yeah, you wanna make sure that the, the bottom part isn't touching the tree trunk. So you just wanna make sure that there's space between the tree trunk and the bottom of the sticky okay. part. And it's as simple as that. And if you wanna do more, you could just do more on top of this level. Exactly. Okay, great, easy. Okay. 